So you've just had a lip filler treatment and you want to know what the aftercare is. My name is Dr. Sanjay Tricker of Trick One Aesthetics Mayfair and I'm going to be talking to you about the aftercare for lip filler treatment. So on the day post-procedure, you're probably feeling a little bit sore and it's a little bit swollen. That's normal after receiving lots of lip filler injections. The lips are quite a sensitive area and they're very vascular, which means that it can bruise and swell a bit more than other treatments. So if that is the case, don't worry, it will settle down over the next two to three weeks. But on the day, straight after being injected, our first concern is gonna be an infection. If where you've got the open sites, it's really important to make sure you don't touch it, don't rub it, don't put any creams on at all, don't put on any makeup or lipstick. The last thing you want to do is to introduce bacteria into an area that you've just been injected into. The chemistry of dermal fillers is hyaluronic acid. This is a little bit similar to something like sugar for bacteria, whereby the bacteria can actually eat the filler and grow a large infection. That sounds very scary, but actually, so long as you make sure you don't touch it, rub it, or put any makeup on, you don't need to worry about it too much. In our clinic, we'll always put on an antibacterial cream post-procedure, which is gonna help the healing process anyway. Other things on the day to consider, straight after the procedure, you should probably avoid having spicy food because if you were to have spicy food, it might sting. I think another way to think about it is where you've just been injected, it's easier to eat probably cleaner foods to something like, I don't know, sushi or something, something that you can just put straight in your mouth that without making so, you know, much of a mess, it's gonna be better and easier to eat than something like a soup, for example. Next is gonna be things like hot drinks and hot coffee. So on the day, you're gonna to want to avoid having any hot drinks touching your lips because heat can distort the integration of fillers. Likewise, avoid things like cigarettes because we don't want your lips to be feeling or, or be exposed to excessive amounts of heat. It's best to avoid this for a day or two straight after the procedure. For the next couple of days, other things to consider, things like lots of exercise for a day or two you should avoid. Again, you don't want that internal body heat. You don't want anything moving around within the lips themselves. Don't kind of get any sort of facial or anything like that where people are gonna be pushing or manipulating any parts of your face around. It's probably better to be avoided and it's good to ensure you avoid the hot tea and coffee for probably one to two days as well. So I'd probably extend that to the next day. Other sources of heat are gonna be like saunas and steam rooms, jacuzzis, hot tubs, that type of thing. I'll also avoid for a couple of days. The full result of a lip filler treatment is typically in two to three weeks. Now this journey can be quite a stressful one because what I always tell my patients is on the day, they're gonna have swelling. So if my patient says to me, oh my God, I love this treatment, I'm so happy. Internally, I'm feeling a little bit concerned because I know right now there's swelling, it's gonna go down. My job is for the patient to be happy at week two to three, not on the day. So it's normal for it to go down. By the same token, if I've got a patient who feels, oh gosh, it looks a bit big, Whilst the patient might be worried, I'm a bit less worried because I know it's going to continue to go down and my, my hope is for the patient to be happy at week three as opposed to day one. Then, typically from days one to day four, I call this the period of regret. The reason for that is often on the next few days, bruising and swelling can be even more noticeable than on day one, particularly the next morning. This is because more fluid can get drawn towards the area because your body really is investigating. It's thinking, what's happened here? I've been poked and prodded. Let me send all of my healing properties to this area to see what's going on and see how I can help. This is your body just trying to repair the area and typically to the patient, it might, be, it might appear a lot bigger, it might look unnatural. If you're someone who's never been through this process before, you might feel a bit panicked because you might have gone somewhere hoping for, expecting, discussing natural looking results, but actually on days one to day four or five, it can still look a little bit unnatural and that can be quite scary. So for this reason, it's really important to understand that prior to a treatment, which is why the consultation is so important. If during this period you think, oh my God, I really like this volume, and then by day 14 it goes, you think, ah, I kind of preferred it when it was a little bit bigger, that's an indicator that maybe the treatment that we've gone for was maybe too subtle. That's not a problem. If you start too subtle, it's easy to build up volume over time. That's never a problem. If, however, between days five to 14, you're still feeling a little bit concerned, it's still maybe a bit bigger than you want, don't worry, it's continuing to settle. And that's when we get to day 14. In terms of longevity of treatment, again, it depends on quality of filler. Generally for a lip filler treatment, I'd expect results to last from nine to 12 months. Everyone's a bit different. Some people burn through things a bit quicker and some people it can last a bit longer, but down to quality filler, my expectation would be about nine to 12 months. 
One little bonus piece of advice that I actually received today after talking to one of my patients who's a little bit for the treatment, she actually said to me, I had no idea this procedure was just a five minute procedure. So generally speaking, people really psych themselves up before a procedure because they don't know what to expect. We always give new patients a one hour slot, even though it's just a five minute procedure. The whole point of this is the consultation is really important. I need to really understand what the result is you're hoping to achieve, talk people through the risks and the cautions properly so you really understand what the procedure is. Now, with this, the numbing takes some time. It can be a little bit stingy, but not too bad if we use numbing cream whatsoever. So actually, this whole process is quite a smooth one, from the numbing cream to the consultation, the discussion, a five-minute procedure going through the aftercare. The whole, the whole thing that typically is wrapped up within one hour, but the procedure itself is only five minutes. Thank you very much. I hope you found that useful and informative. If you've got any other questions about a lip filler treatment or any other treatment, Please do feel free to leave them in the comments and get in contact or get in contact with the clinic, we'll be happy to help you.